open up. You open up. Hit you on BBM. Then I'm going to be showing you how to make a pair of barrel bottoms with a two-tier layer. But I'm going to show you how to use things that you have around the house to create this custom design for yourself. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, stay tuned. Alright, so right here I'm just measuring from my waist to where I want my bell bottom to start, which is right above the knee. Next, I'm going to find a pair of pants that I like the fit of and I'm going to float them inside out so I can get a better view of the seams of the pants. So here I'm just flattening it out, getting everything nice and even. Here I'm preparing my fabric. I'm taking the measurement that I got earlier from where I want my belt bottom to start and I'm measuring down on the fabric and then I'm going to fold it over twice because I'm going to need two sets of this for each pants leg. Okay, so one thing I failed to record was me actually cutting out the pants pattern. So once I cut the polka dot fabric, I then placed the jeans on top of it, lined up the fold, and then cut around the jeans, leaving a one inch seam allowance. And here's the pants pattern that I was explaining. Now I'm just lining up the pattern and sewing the curvature part on both sides. Okay, once you've sewn the curved pieces on both sides, you should have something that looks like this. Also take note that I did cut my fabric on a fold, so there's no need for side seams. Okay, so once we've sewn down the curved part, I've gone ahead and lined them up. And now we're going to sew the inside U of the pants, the inseam. I also went ahead and used my serger on all the raw edges. So here I'm just measuring how wide the waist of the pants are now and I'm looking at what I want them to be and looking at the difference between that. I decided to go ahead and place some darts, four on each panel, front, back, side, side. And here is how my one inch wide darts came out. I have four of them throughout the waistband as you'll see I also went ahead and pinned down the flap so when I do at the waistband they won't go in the way all right so I wanted a really high waistband so I cut out a rectangle the length of my waist but for the height I did about eight inches so I can have a four inch waistband and I'm now just pinning it all the way around the pants Alright, so for the first tier of the pants, I cut a piece that's about 8 inches in height. In the length, I used the length of the fabric itself. With the fabric being cut on a fold, I think I got a good 60 inches wide. And I went ahead and copied this twice so I can have two separate panels. Next, I'm repeating the same concept for the larger second tier. I'm measuring the length that I need from the knee down to the floor, and I'm going ahead and using the same width as before and cutting this twice. So 
So with each tier, I've gone ahead and finished off the bottom. You can go ahead and hem them at this time. And I've also gone ahead and closed the piece completely. And I did that for all four pieces, the smaller ruffles and the large ruffle pieces we're gonna be using. Next, I take one of the smaller pieces, flip it inside out and find the side seam. Then I put the matching faces together and find the side seam of the pants inside and line those up and pin. I then go ahead and do the same thing to the outer seam of the pants, lining up the seam of the ruffle piece along with the outer seam of the pants itself. I then begin to pleat the remaining fabric all the way around equally. Next, I repeat the same concept but with the larger ruffle, flipping it inside out and placing it now over both the pants and the smaller tier and lining up the side seams. Once I have both side seams pinned in place, I begin to pleat the inside of the larger tier, so the pants and the second tier. Once I have it pinned, I go ahead and sew and repeat the same thing to the other pants leg. Here is one pants leg sewn together. Keep in mind these pants were made for someone taller than me. Alright, so if you would like to connect with me on my Instagram, go ahead and follow me at greenwear underscore designs. Again, it's at greenware underscore designs. I would love for you to follow me and I'll follow back and we can connect there as well. Again, thank you for watching and bye-bye.